Thousands without power after California earthquake. Snowstorm holds flights at Vancouver Airport. Children's medicine shortage hits U.S. and Canada. UN Biodiversity Conference reaches historic deal. Fortnite creator to pay $520 million to settle complaints. EU accuses Facebook parent Meta of distorting ads market. Finnish defense chief to take advantage of paternity leave. Two expo planets may be mostly water. Hello, I'm Stephanie. Thank you for joining us on Funday News. It is Wednesday, December 21st, and here are your top stories. A strong 6.4 magnitude earthquake off the coast of Northern California on Tuesday injured two people, damaged a bridge and several roads, and left thousands of homes and businesses without power. According to the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection, the epicenter of the earthquake was 350 kilometers north of San Francisco. After the quake struck at 2.34 a.m. local time, some 79,000 homes and businesses were without power in Ferndale and surrounding Humboldt County. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, the quake's depth was 17.9 kilometers. Two people were injured near the quake's epicenter in Humboldt County, where widespread damage to roads and homes was reported. Officials have closed at least four roads in Humboldt County because of large cracks and were investigating a possible gas line rupture. Police have closed the Ferndale Bridge over the Eel River because of four large cracks in the bridge, and the roadway is at risk of sliding. Heavy snowfall and low visibility from a strong winter storm blanketing Pacific Canada forced the country's second busiest airport in Vancouver to halt all flights on Tuesday morning, with disruptions expected to continue ahead of the Christmas weekend. The Vancouver International Airport said the storm has had an unprecedented impact on flights and caused mass cancellations overnight, and they anticipate cancellations and delays to continue throughout the day and the week ahead. The media reported a low-pressure system from the Pacific Ocean combined with very cold Arctic air over British Columbia dragged temperatures down and brought up to 25 centimeters of snow to parts of the western province overnight. Data from airline tracking website FlightAware showed that nearly 200 flights scheduled to arrive or depart on Tuesday had been cancelled with another 67 delayed. Environment Canada issued extreme cold, snowfall and Arctic outflow warnings for most of British Columbia. An unusually fast start to the annual flu season, plus a spike in other respiratory illnesses, created a surge in demand for fever relievers and other products people can buy without a prescription in the U.S. and Canada. Children's Hospital said there are more sick kids at this time of year than we have seen in the past couple years. Aside from over-the-counter products, according to the Food and Drug Administration, the prescription antibiotic amoxicillin also is in short supply due to increased demand. Drug maker Johnson & Johnson said it is not experiencing widespread shortages of children's Tylenol, but the product may be less readily available at some stores. The company said it is running its production lines around the clock. Meanwhile, doctors also cautioned that fevers don't always have to be treated. They are body's natural defense against infection. However, parents should take a newborn under two months old to the doctor if the child has a fever of 38 degrees Celsius or more. Negotiators at a UN Biodiversity Conference on Monday reached an agreement that committed to protect 30% of land and water, considered important for biodiversity before end of the decade. The agreement envisages putting $200 billion towards supporting biodiversity by 2030. The deal also calls for giving low-income countries far more than is currently provided for their efforts to protect nature. The amount is to reach at least $20 billion annually by 2025, increasing to $30 billion by 2030. The ministers and government officials from about 190 countries in the United Nations Biodiversity Conference have mostly agreed that protecting biodiversity has to be a priority, with many comparing those efforts to climate talks that wrap up last month in Egypt. Climate change coupled with habitat loss, pollution and development have hammered the world's biodiversity with one estimate in 2019 warning that a million plant and animal species faced extinction within decades. Struck, 
Monday English. The U.S. Federal Trade Commission (FTC) said on Monday, video game company Epic Games will pay 520 million in penalties and refunds in settling allegations that it illegally collected children's personal information and used deceptive interfaces and billing practices in Fortnite. The U.S. FTC tweeted, "Epic Games violated the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act and deployed dark patterns to dupe millions of players into making unintentional purchases." The media said Epic Games has agreed to pay a $275 million penalty for collecting personal information on Fortnite players under the age of 13 without informing their parents or getting their consent. The FTC said Fortnite's counterintuitive, inconsistent, and confusing button configuration led players to incur unwanted charges based on the press of a single button. Epic Games is refunding $245 million to customers who fell victim to such practices, known as dark patterns. The European Commission said on Monday a preliminary analysis by the Commission found that Meta had been using its powerful social media prominence to gain an unfair advantage. The EU's competition watchdog accused the linking of Meta's Facebook marketplace to its Facebook social media platform as unfair to competitors. California-based Meta, which now has the right to respond to the accusations either in writing or in an oral hearing, denied that its practices were anti-competitive. Facebook's parent company Meta announcing that beginning January 19th, advertisers will no longer be able to target users based on sensitive categories such as race. The analysis found that Meta used data from online classified services that advertise on Facebook and Instagram to its own advantage. The commission also said it suspected Facebook of collecting vast troves of data on users' activities that enable it to target specific customer groups. Should the commission find enough evidence of infringement, it could impose a fine of up to 10. Percent of Meta's global annual turnover for the 12 months ending September 30th. Overall international revenue of Meta was 118 billion dollars. Finland's defense minister Antti Kaikkonen made a stirring argument for his country's new gender-neutral parental leave system when he announced he would be stepping aside in a few weeks to take care of his six-month-old son. While most Finns have shrugged off Antti Kaikkonen's decision to take leave, and the policy is in line with those in neighboring countries, it is still not common for male politicians in Nordic states to make use of their parental leave. Nyt vielä puolustusministeri Kaikkonen ja sitten ainakin ne edustat, joiden nimi mainittiin. Arvoisa. Kaikkonen is a 48-year-old father of two. He tweeted last week in making the argument for two months of parental leave starting January 6, in which he said, "Children remain small only for a moment, and I want to remember it in ways other than just photos." Kaikkonen said, "Although ministerial duties are very important to me, you've got to be able to put family first at some point." In September, Finland launched a gender-neutral parental leave system, allowing both parents to take 160 days of paid leave each. A team led by researchers at the University of Montreal has found evidence that two exoplanets orbiting a red dwarf star are water worlds, where water makes up a large fraction of the entire planet. These worlds, located in the planetary system 218 light years away in the constellation Lyra, are unlike any planets found in our solar system. Researchers caution that the planets may not have oceans like those on Earth. The temperature in Kepler 138d's atmosphere is likely above the boiling point of water. A super Earth that possibly harbors a global liquid ocean has been added to that list. Researchers said water wasn't directly detected at exoplanets Kepler 138 c and d, but by comparing the sizes and masses of the planets to models, astronomers conclude that a significant fraction of their volume, up to half of it, should be made of materials that are lighter than rock but heavier than hydrogen or helium. The most common of these candidate materials is water. They said it is the best evidence yet for water worlds, a type of planet that was theorized by astronomers to exist for a long time. Monday news will help sharpen your English skills while keeping you informed on current international events. Tune into other fun day programs to learn more about the world's most important topics in English. Click the link below now to join Fun Day for free. I'm Stephanie, your host. I'll see you next time.